what's up? Yeah. Hey, so hey, well, as you know, we are an obligatory movie channel, right? Right? Quote, unquote, quote, right? Didn't Quotations. Right? And you're like, any obligatory movie channel, right? We just we have do to do this. No. <laughs> well, I have no idea what to... This is a completely new video on a completely new day recording at a completely new time and all that stuff, all right? No, it's not. Okay, I what have day no is it? idea right what right you're now. talking Right now. Say so, right now. I'm not saying anything. Wait, Say as it. far as I'm concerned, this is... Fuck, hold on, hold on. Let me, uh, hold on, this is... Let's see, that's the fourth. That's this is this is January eleventh, twenty twenty two, all right? Can you, I I'm gonna love if you just if you post them but don't remember the dates and then have everyone be fucking confused as shit. I swear to god that's gonna happen with you right now. <laughs> no, 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 I'm actually keeping track of actually look at the calendar when we're doing this. You're going to forget. I'm <laughs> you know, going to laugh when that happens. <laughs> Alright, but anyway, hey well, so as you know, we're in a we're a movie channel, so we have to do it in an obligatory Best and worst movie of, 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 of that we saw, right? Like any movie channel we have to do, right? Yeah. So, so here's our. So last week we released our worst movie, worst movie list. Really great, a uh, great, great list of movies and everything, you know, right? Mm -hmm. Great worst movies, you know. They weren't great movies, they were worst movies, but a great list of worst movie, some would say, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So, so now here are our best movie of 2021. So, here's the thing, right? We, we don't follow the trend. We, there's no norm. There's no structure to us. We never had a structure, right? Right? It's, it's whatever. It's we just, we just, we just record and hope something comes out of it that we can make into a video and call it a day, right? Mm -hmm. Right, 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 right. Right, right, yeah. So, so, that's why, right, so, yeah, so, for this, so, for our movies, it's not subjective to just the year 2021, right? Like, it's not movie that was released in 2021. It is just movie we saw in 2021, right? Uh huh. Right. So it's so 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 because we watch because we don't just watch 2021 movies on 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 our on our movie channel, right? Because we're we're great movie reviewers with our film studies and all that stuff and our film degrees and our and our and our and our, and our writing on film subject and and cinematography and directors and camera crew and and personal assistants and. And Heath oh, Ledger and Edward Norton. Okay, you can stop. You can stop. <laughs> right? Wes Anderson. No, you can stop. <laughs> you don't need to continue anymore. It's done. <laughs> All right. Boom, boom mic operator. Right? Well, we know. No, okay. Anyway, we're talking about the best of what we have or what we decided out of the list of people of movies that we've seen in the year 2021. Doesn't matter what year, when it was made. We watched it that year. No, that's what we're, we're yeah, that's right. And like always, these movies we list aren't in a structure. There is no numerical or letter or any ranking, right? Like we just pick five movies we saw, and I just wrote them down. I didn't put them in any. There was like the order we have them in does not determine their place, right? Yeah. On uh -huh. on on this list, right? It's just five movies we just liked in twenty movies that I would say, hey, if 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 if, it, if, it, if I was scrolling on TV, you know, one day uh, and I saw it, I was like, all right, I'll watch, it. you know, I'll put it on, right? Like those type of movies, you know? Yeah. Uh -huh. Right. So right. So all right. So wait. All right. Since I started last, I guess you should start this time. Oh, you said last. Well, you know, what? it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Right. We're, we're this releasing the week after we release our worst movie list. All right. I swear to God, you're gonna forget. Anyway, so I'm not gonna forget because there's one. no reason to release the best movie, the best list first, and then release the worst list. Because nobody cares about cares about the worst list if you release the best list first. Because that's why you gotta release the worst list first, then you release the best list, right? That's how uh, it works. Yeah, sure. That's right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're telling yourself that. Okay, okay. I, I think that's yeah. enough rant. I, I think this Hollywood stock <laughs> footage I've been having running in the background has played its course. You know. Oh God. So wait, what are you gonna do now? What are you uh, going to do for archival? Uh, I mean, as soon as you said to the movie, I'm going to do a, a cross dissolve into the trailer, all right? Like how we always do it. Cross right? Dissolve. Yeah. I'm just going to do a fade into the trailer, right? Just do of a fade what? in but of the trailer of the movie we're, we're going to talk about. But in two then, it's just 19, 1930s black and white Hollywood stock footage that I found. Okay. All right. Fine. So, uh, hold on. Hey. I love this bit that's happening in the stock footage, right? Wow. Would you look at that? Tell him to do a flip. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't think you can tell t stock footage to do something like that. Yeah, you can. Just go back in the past and do it, and it'll change the. Oh, you're uh, right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Future events. Uh huh. Uh -huh. But, you know, at least we still get the flip. Yeah. Mm -hmm, anyway, mm -hmm. fucking. 
this this took long, too long. Anyway, number one, one. Uh, now it's one not as in the, it's the best, but it's not the worst. Okay, it's just again, okay. it's just how it happens to. Yeah, it's, 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 it's how it's how we wrote it down. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Number one, pig. Uh, okay. By Nicolas Cage. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Certainly a surprise contender of this year. I literally yeah. have no idea what to expect from a movie called Pig, and with the way this pre- poster is presented, it looks like a kind of horror survivalist type of thing. Yep. And and uh, I expected some really good shit like with Mandy, and I still and it still got some really good shit. But mm-hmm, it was mm-hmm. very much a strange cooking drama about a man who decided. Yeah, that movie was way better than I was expecting, right? Because yeah. right. Because that was the problem with my movie, watching it, was I thought it was going to be John Wick, but with a pig. Because that's how the trailer made it out to be. Right? If you watch, yeah. like, the fucking pig that they released, then it ended up being like a complete fucking lie. And then it just takes you down, instead of taking you down an adrenaline-filled action pace, it takes you down a, a, a spiral of depression and acceptance. Like, oh. Oh. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't, mm-hmm. it, it doesn't exactly, uh... I mean, you're gonna be surprised if you don't know what's going on, and, and if you don't if you don't go in uh, expecting anything, you're gonna be surprised what you get from this yeah. movie. Yeah, and it's mm-hmm. um, it's a very surprising drama. That, right? Because uh, I did you went into this movie knowing anything beforehand about this movie? I knew nothing. I knew oh. nothing about this movie except mm. with, except for the assumption that it looked like a horror movie because of how it mm-hmm. looked. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. And right. Because so, because that's that's that right because that's where our our a bit. Well, not our, but, but our experience, because I actually went into this with the trailer, seeing the trailer, right? Right, right. right. And, and thinking, like, oh, I was thinking this movie was going to be a John Wick movie the entire time. Like, oh, boy, here's that John Wick in there, you know? He's going to do the John Wick. This is where he becomes the Pega Yega, right? Pega Yega, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's right? the term. But, but no, but the movie did not end up being what I expected, which was way better. It, it all ironically subvert my expectations after the trailer lied to me about my expectations. Yeah, it sets you up one way, and then you see something else completely differently. Mm-hmm, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Definitely uh, a good movie to watch, uh, I would say. It's very somber, very much uh, a quiet film that kind of takes its time in some things. But mm-hmm, right. very good nonetheless, especially when it, when it does get intense. It gets pretty intense, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't want to say too much about spoiling the movie anyway, but yeah. well, it's whatever. It's All just right. nonetheless. That's just my number one right now. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, so for my first movie of year 20 that I wrote on my list is the 2021 movie starring Nicolas Cage called Pig. God damn it. God. I actually had Pig as my I actually wrote Pig as my first movie in my list. I'm not shit posting or making this uh, a bit. Literally on my list, the first movie I put was Pig as well. I'm not kidding. This, this, this is not a bit. This is not some stupid bit I'm trying to pull. I got to all my lists. Oh I was like, God. I actually wrote pig. That's and pretty I, good. And I That's didn't want to. I didn't want to change my list. And I was like, oh, I have committed. I have to go and order up my list. That's the point of a list. You can't steer off the path of the list. Yeah, you definitely can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. So here's what I love about the movie Pig. All right, because I came into this movie watching the trailer, right, thinking uh-huh. this was gonna be a John Wick movie, except with a pig, right, right, where Nicolas Cage is the pig of Yanga, right, uh-huh. and he has uh-huh. to get back his pig. But no, but that it completely subverted my expectation, where it wasn't an action movie about Nicolas Cage and a pig. It was just a movie with Nicolas Cage and a pig. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, this movie was way better than... It was like some... Right, this movie was like way better in tone than what I was expecting. Because I came into thinking it was going to be like some weird thriller action movie, right? About a guy trying to get back his pig, but by the end of it, like, none of that happened. It's like, boy, it's just like a... This movie is like a complete deep reflection at the end, right? Yeah, it really, it really does. It really does. I mean, like, maybe, like, there were some dumb parts of the movie that I didn't like. Like, I think, like, my number one critique of the of the thing, like, if I had to pick one moment in the movie where I didn't like, was the fucking underground fight club scene that made no sense to me. <sighs> yeah, especially when you're first going in, it just feels like, why is this here? It feels, it feels so funny. Like, it, like you literally could have cut that scene out of the movie and, and the movie would have been the same right it was so fucking weird but other than that scene i think everything else was pretty fucking good like the scene when nicholas cage visits one of his former um fuck 
chefs. So employees or something Yeah, like right? That. Like, who now owns a restaurant, who now is in charge of his own restaurant. And then he just fucking breaks him down in front of, in front of, in front of the, of the patrons, right? Like, yeah. wow, what? This Five scene is minute so... conversation. Five like, he minutes. breaks this man down to the point of crying and everything. Yeah. He's like, hey man, you used to have dreams. What happened to those? And then the yeah, man right? starts bawling. And it's just like, yeah, oh. no, no, like, like, you sold out, man. You, you're no longer cool. You sold out to the man. God, and then he, then he, re- then he realizes all along that truly his chef was based. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, but yeah, no, this movie was way better than I was. Like, I didn't know what I was expecting, right? I mean, I did know what I was expecting, but by the end of it, it completely beat my expectation and was way better, right? Like, because I thought this movie, like I said, think, think of this movie, how it came because the trailer that they released was, made it seem like this was John Wick, but with Nicolas Cage and a pig instead. Instead, but I'm like, but I'm like, in the end, I was way more satisfied, right? I mean, if this was John Wick with a pig, I probably would have been satisfied with the movie as well, but the fact that it wasn't, right, and it, but it had the same effect, right, of watching it, mm-hmm. right? If you, you get my draft. Like, like the experience I came I came in expecting to end with is the same that I came in expecting but left with a completely different uh, shift that still has the same experience and tone of of the of of, of, of the end, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. If you get my drift. Yeah, 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 I do. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that was my number. Yeah. That was the first movie on my list of the best movie of twenty twenty one. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I guess it's okay. Well, we're gonna see how number two goes. Is here's mm-hmm. my number two, um, the Green Knight. Okay. Mhm. Mhm. Okay. Okay. I was waiting for you to say something, but I guess not. Oh, uh, why, 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 why would I say something? I don't like that. Anyway, um, fantastic film, a fantastic take on a on a on a, on a classic Arthurian legend while yeah, that's also right. u- using making it into a uh, while. Adapting it into a coming-of-age tale, which is, you know, was surprising because, uh, I mean, the original legend doesn't consist of it being, like, a coming-of-age tale type of thing. It's just literally Gaw- uh, Gawain being like, Haha, I am too cool, and I'm awesome, and I deserve to be a knight. And literally everything, he's just like, haha, we agree. Mm-hmm. That's literally the, fu- the rest of the fucking, uh, the fucking story, or the poem, or something, I don't know what to call it. Yeah, that's right. Here, mm-hmm. though, yeah. it's very clearly kind of contrasting, like, oh, you know, you have these vices and stuff, uh, you know, it's time for you to grow up, yeah? And then it's like, and then at first he's like, I don't want to. And then by the end of it, he's like, you know what? Yeah, you're right. I should grow up. And then, you know, that kind of stuff. I mean, I'm mm-hmm. simplifying it a lot. Yeah. But, like, aside from, like, but I had some fantastic, uh, uh, psychedelic, well, I, I, I say psychedelic. It's not really that, that psychedelic, but it has some really cool fucking visuals. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the story is, the story is, uh, you know, very appropriately used somber and not when it, when it calls for it. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. It's a fant- it's a fantastic look into the, into the struggles of a young man trying to be, uh, live up to his his uh, legend of an uncle, um, King Arthur, uh, and you know the fantasy the fantasy is wild as shit, which is what to be expected when it comes to Arthurian legend because things do get wild, and I appreciate that they kept it like that. Um, mm-hmm. Well, overall, I mean, honestly, it's just fantastic all around. But that's uh, right, uh, right. Uh, that's why it's my number. It's just why it's on the list. Mhm, mhm. And that's right. all I had to say. Yeah, that. yeah. That movie was good. I liked it. I liked it. It was free. Mm-hmm. It was good, right? Because as you know, I'm also an expert of Arthurian legend, and I was definitely not reading the Wikipedia page of the movie at the exact same time we were watching the movie, right? You know, right? Mm-hmm. I was definitely understanding that complex story and the legend of Sir Garrett Garrett, where the fuck his name is. Got right, me. yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Let's call him that. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah but we want to give him a name. Let's let's call him that, right? Okay. Yeah, I like I definitely understood the the, the the but no, it was a fun movie, right? Like I gotta say, I didn't know much about the legend or the story, but I, mean, I was like, I thought the movie was cool enough. It was there was great moments in that movie, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I there, there was there was some cool shots and so I love the the cinematography of that movie is actually really well done, right? Yeah, I still remember the tree. The tree was weird as shit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right there, 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 was, there was like there was, there was cool there was like some cool visual like the tower like the giant or whatever the fuck and all that stuff that was cool the giant tesses yes that was wild as shit mm-hmm. but yeah yeah but yeah but yeah mm-hmm, mm-hmm. oh yeah anything else no I finished on my number two okay yeah, yeah so for my second movie a movie 
a movie that 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 I we also watched in October as part of our yearly spooky t- spooky ween tober fest, right? Swear to God. It starts with the word the. Uh-huh. It was the headhunter. Nice. Okay. Cool. <laughs> That's right. Unironically, also a movie that we that we review in October. For some reason, yeah. what a fuck, boy! I, this list is getting real weird all of a sudden. What? You okay? <laughs> yeah. Right, but no, yeah, I enjoyed it. Like, it was a short movie. It wasn't as long as the other movies we saw, right? That like the typical ninety-minute rush. I, it was like a stream, which was like what seventy minutes, right? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, but 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 uh, that movie did what it needed to do, right? I was like, and, like, like the best part of it, like there was like little to no dialogue in that movie, right? It was like, literally like a like like the movie was pretty much just ambient ambient sound, right, and the yes. soundtrack mm-hmm. only, right? Right, like, 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 even the main headhunter character barely spoke as far like, I don't, I don't think he even spoke like at least 10 words within that movie as far as I'm aware of. I mean, he's definitely spoken a bit more of that because there was that mono, I think he did have a, mo- a bit of a, a bit of a chat with his dead daughter when he oh, was yeah, 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 but, yeah, but, was but, but like, like he, not all. Yeah, but like, we said from like monologues, right? Like, 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 it was literally just a movie following this guy, hunting down a monster and everything, right? Right, right. Yeah, that's his, uh, that's how he earns money and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That movie was way better, like, and and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the world was way more interesting than Thalo, right? Like, like, they, like, like, there was not a lot of stuff revealed, but you could tell what was going on in this world, right? Like, you saw a shot of a castle. You saw, you saw the notice of the kingdom is putting out the hunt for 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 this, right? You could see the guy's environment, like, like even like even when you looked at his cabinet, right? You could tell so much about his character. Just from looking in his cabinet, right? Like, 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 yeah. like, 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 like the wall of head of moss. Like, like, you know, this isn't just like some Joe, like some guy. Like, all right, time for me to go hunt some monster, right? Like, you know that this guy was a was a veteran of this stuff. Like, he's been doing this for years, you know. Yeah, he definitely looks the part for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, because he's very rugged, and you know, he's he's built big, you know. And he's always like, I mean, it's, it becomes apparent, but he looks like he knows his way around the fight. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's really good. I really like like the movie and everything, right? Mhm. Yeah, like like the, the most was like how how the events was set up, right? Like like how how there was a lot of shots that like set up the entire plot of that movie, like 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 or like the, the beginning shot, of, like how he had like how there was the broken door, right? Like oh, right for no reason. Yeah, like, the the broken hinge on for the window. Yeah, like 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 like, like 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 how the movie start off like this weird close up frame of the like right, and you're thinking, oh, what the fuck's with this frame, right? Why is there so much significant on this frame of this door, and then it and then it pays off, right? Like like it's what sets off the movie in the end, right? Or at least yeah. like and everything. There's a lot of visual foreshadowing definitely within the film that mm-hmm. does yeah. pay off later on in the end. And yeah, like, they, like, like 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 the only thing I would say that I didn't like was probably like the final fight when they were in. In like the in, the shitty in the cave, in the, right? In the little cave, right? Yeah. Because, yeah. Because I, I, I tell felt by that point it's a puppet and everything. You know? Yeah, it was. I didn't feel as high impact as like as like if I were to watch this movie of of like the cat like the cat and mouse chase of this movie. I feel like it's. I feel like that was like probably like the weakest point of the. But everything leading up to it and probably after the cave was prop was was amazing, right? Yeah, it was, it was really, really fucking good. Uh, yeah. So yeah. So yeah. So that was my second favorite movie of tw- of the year twenty twenty one. Okay. So now it goes to my number three. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And my number three was also within uh, October. Uh-oh. Uh oh. But it starts with it, it starts with an A ends with okay. a call and has a monster in the middle of it. Uh huh. A monster calls. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh. Mm hmm. With Although the Jesus, really with the Jesus Christ allegory, right? Uh, no, he's not the Jesus Christ allegory. God oh, what do you mean? Oh. Wait, wait. You're telling me I'm watching a Liam Neeson movie where he voices a mythological creature and it's not a Jesus Christ allegory? Yes, that's what I'm telling you right now. That is exactly the hey. case. Hey, they should do more movies where they have Liam Neeson voice a mythical creature, but it turns out it was actually a subvert, subvert allegory for Jesus Christ. They should do more of those, all right? Oh um, my God, just, no, no, we've had enough, we've had enough uh, Jesus Christ allegories. You no, know, well, you can never have enough Jesus Christ allegory, all right? No, that's what enough in Superman. That, that, that's what. Steel, hey, hold on, okay? Zack Snyder loves his Jesus Christ allegory. Look, I right? don't need you to tell me that it was a fucking lance, okay? I 
swear to fucking god. <laughs> anyway, a monster calls is about a very sad boy who is dealing with a lot of. I'm still mad. Who's dealing is, uh... with the trauma of his mother dying? All right. There we go. Uh huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. the mood down. Yep. Yep. Anyway, yep. But yeah, I just watching you. What are you? That's not real. No, that's real. That's not real. <laughs> that's a real image. Zack Snyder posted it. That's not real. I refuse. I I honestly refuse to even consider the fact that the that Zack Snyder. Did you not see this image? Joker. I have not seen this image. No. I thought you knew about this image. I haven't seen Joker that's, that's, as Jesus. Okay. <laughs> I was that's what I was trying to make a joke of the entire time. Have you not uh, seen this image? This I was talking. I was talking more about the actual allegorical thing imagery that he was making, like when you have G, like like fucking Superman in a Christ pose. <laughs> this is actual image that Zack Snyder posted. I, look, you can tell me all you want that it's official. I refuse to believe that that is an official <laughs> image, okay? Because I cannot take the fact. I can't. I do not want to have to put my mind around the fact that Zack, who very much put. Uh, uh, in the beginning, put like fucking Superman in in the Jesus in, as a Jesus figure, right? And it's now putting it on the Joker, who is potentially one of the worst human beings ever, like if uh, 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 to have ever existed within any form of media or literature. Okay, because this man literally will kill anyone and everything, and just because you prove a point, like oh, life is chaos or some bullshit, <laughs> right? And you're putting him in 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 you're putting him on a pedestal with Jesus. The fuck is wrong? What? No, get that shit out of here. It's fucking stupid. God. He's just trying to be like this dude, yeah, like, you know, society. Fuck, 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 fuck Snyder right now. Oh, fuck, what do you mean? Oh, what do you mean? What do you mean? But the Joker did say we live in a society, though. Yeah, you know what? What, what is, and what does he, what does he do with that, huh? Just makes quotes and just like, we live in a society. <laughs> I'm just gonna blow it up right now. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Boy, I wonder what stock footage I'm, I wonder what footage I'm using at this point. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyway, a monster calls a sad story yeah. about a boy dealing with the trauma of his mother dying, and then you know mm -hmm, how to come mm -hmm, to terms mm -hmm. with that. Wonderful coming of age tale. Uh, it's uh, it hits you, it hits you a lot harder than you than you think. I also went get went into thinking that this was a children's horror movie. Uh, sort of, if, it's, if we consider the real life implications of it. But yeah. It's a it's a fun story. It gets really comp so, like strangely complex. It's yeah. Very weird. Because it's just like there was this whole bit with the bully, and I thought at the, at the, at some point they were gonna do the traditional oh he stands up to bully and you know becomes more of himself, but then it turns out oh no he wants to be bullied because he wants to be seen and because nobody sees him in his in his wall wallowing in his grief and stuff, and so mm -hmm. that's why he got pissed off at this bully because he decides to like oh you're gonna not see me where you're gonna fucking see me now you son of a bitch. Uh huh. It's uh -huh. like well, it's like what the fuck guy. It's like, yeah, gets gets real real complicated yeah. real fast, but like, uh, but it's still a wonderful story. Definitely, if you're watching with kids, you're gonna have to beat it to explain some shit to them. But otherwise, definitely worth, uh, very much worth the watch. Um, but that's my number three. Mhm, mm mhm. And what is your number three, Austin? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I I want to make sure you, if you did have any more Jesus allegory to talk about. No, you know? uh, no, no. You stop. You stop that. Right now. <laughs> What? You stop. What? Should I stop? Hey, do you want me to stop Jesus? Wait, are you saying you want to stop Christmas? Christmas has already happened. What is? What is? Are you what trying is, to what stop? Is, are you trying to stop 2022's Christmas? No. Look. Okay. Look. If I want to do that, I just go up to the North Pole and deal with Santa my own way. Okay. Mhm. Mm right, but here's go. the thing. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you stop Christmas, right? Uh -huh. The problem is if you if you if you stop Jesus and stop Christmas, you'll be spending Christmas alone. No. <laughs> no. Okay, my, my third movie is alone, by the way. No. In case you couldn't tell. You can't. You can't do that. You're not allowed to do that anymore. <laughs> I have, yeah, so here's I don't the like funny you part. Or your My best and worstest has a load in it. But it's oh, two completely God. different alone movies, right? But here's the thing I picked the good alone movie. The one that ended up being way better than I expected. Right? And yeah, the one yeah. and the one that wasn't a zombie apocalypse. Right? 
Well, a little sword. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, let's, let's, all right, just make sure we're, we're, you're both, we're both aware. I'm talking about the, the movie, the alone movie where the woman gets chased by, by the guy, right? Right, that, that, yeah, you were both aware. I'm talking about that movie, right? Oh, yeah. That was called Alone. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That, that was, well, she's in the woods, right? Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, she frees herself and fights, uh, fights him off and then basically ruins his life as retaliation. It was pretty fucking badass. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, that yeah, movie ended up way being better than I, was, than I was expecting. I actually ended up completely enjoying that movie, right? Yeah, it was definitely a surprise. It was definitely a surprise. Like, we go into yeah. it, it's like, oh, it has a loan in the name. Time to watch it. And mm-hmm. we thought we'd be mean. Right, right, yeah, like, like, we really only chose that movie because we were like, we found out how there was like two movies called Alone that were released within the same month span. Yeah. And then we found out there was a third movie called Alone and that all three were released within a three month span. And we're like, oh, fuck, now we have to do it. And then, but then, and when we ended up, we were like, wow, this movie is way. I actually enjoy this movie when I was watching it, right? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean like, like the woman character was kind of, was was kind of a dick, right? With her, with her be like, oh boy, with her be impatient and everything, driving, right, to get to mm-hmm. get to the fucking city, right? And but but the guy that played the the serial killer, ah, that guy did a good. I believe that guy. If that guy was a serial killer, I would believe he was a serial killer, right? Yeah, yeah, honestly. Yeah, like like he had the whole presence. He had like 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 his presence and everything. Thought the movie was like, yeah. Yep, especially early on when they established him, like how he's just creepily following this woman and how he's and like how everywhere she goes she sees him, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that was uh very bad. It was very yeah. like uh Yeah, and then, then when they finally reached the midpoint and she's how she's in the in the woods and she has to survive and everything. That was really good. I really enjoyed that movie. I really enjoy all of that part. Like literally I actually enjoyed like I don't think there was a part where I didn't like when I was watching this movie, well, when it's such a the or part of the beginning part when they had to set up, right about why she gets kidnapped, right? It was kind of really weird, like well, because she just fucking drove around the guy, right? Yeah. Because you think about it, I mean, because was because they were in an open role, so she's kind of in the right, you know, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I think you know. outside of like that really bad excuse for the guy to suddenly obsess over this woman, right? Like everything about this movie was extremely enjoyable. Uh, to me and I actually really enjoyed watching it. Oh no, yeah, for sure it was very fun. Uh, very de- decent. Uh, very decent thriller. Felt bad for that one guy who actually just you know listened. And oh yeah, yeah the, the, the 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 farmer, the hunter, right? Yeah, the farmer hunter guy. Yeah, felt mm-hmm, bad mm-hmm. for his character. But yeah. you know, it was very well acted. I loved the atmosphere of it. It was very tense, very thrilling. Uh, mm-hmm, and, the mm-hmm. fi- and you know the end fight, pretty fucking fun. You know, yeah, it was just, just like it was pretty satisfying to actually have a satisfying uh, resolution to their conflict in that way. Mhm, mhm, mhm. Uh, I mean, but yeah, I, I do, I do agree that that is one worthy of being on the list. Mhm, mhm. So I right. guess that puts it on us at number four. And so for my number four, it is. I don't remember if we actually watched this in October. I can't say. But it was the devil all the time. Oh, uh, that was not up to it. That was like way. That was way earlier. Another Tom Holland movie. I think we watched the devil all the time before that. Before all of like October and everything. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I I think it was like. Uh, boy, we watched a lot of Tom Holland movie this year. Now that I think about it. Well, we watched Chaos Walking. We watched Cherry, and then we also watched the devil all the time as well. Uh, Not a Tom yeah. Holland movie all of a sudden. That Tom Holland, I think he's gonna be a real star in Hollywood. You know, yeah, I can feel it, right? He's gonna make it big. He's gonna get a big movie role that makes him that makes him well known across the world, right? Playing a famous character that's beloved by anyone, right? Batman, <laughs> I can see it now. He could be the next Batman. Oh God, yeah, I can totally see him being Batman, my guy. <laughs> He's gonna, mm-hmm. he's gonna usher in the new age of DC. That's right. He got, he got, he's gonna be a real Batman, you know, right? Yeah. I wonder though, who do you think they're gonna cast as Spider-Man? I don't know. Hey, I don't know. Hey, they should get Robert Patterson as Spider-Man. Nah, I can't see it. Working. He, he was, he, look, he was also in the Devils all the time, right? Mm-hmm. Oh God, I forgot he was in it. He was the freaking, he was the creepy fucking priest. Yeah, right. He was he was the he was the rapist priest or whatever, right? Yeah, he was the rapist priest. Yeah, Jesus, fuck, I forgot about that. Shit. Yeah. Oh my god. 
<laughs> yeah, hey, 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 we finally got our Batman versus Spider Man movie people have been asking for. Oh, this is the Marvel DC crossover we never asked for. <laughs> That's right. It's all thanks to the devil. Oh my god. Okay, well, yes, it was. Devil All the Time is an American folkloric story in which it's not really much folklore, but more. Well, folklore in a modern setting, really. Mm-hmm. Where we're dealing with, with a kid who, I guess, is the hand of God. So as as silly as that sounds, it makes a lot more sense within the within the showing of the of the film where it's like a whole bunch of real real uh, events that happen re- that that affect it. Well, supposedly. Well, okay. So before you, anyone gets confused, I say real. These things didn't actually happen. I say real in in the sense that like, oh yeah, you know, you can see this happening. You can see how this would fuck some people up and then how it could lead from one thing to another. But yeah, it's like a series of events that just end up spiraling, create, creating Tom Holland's character so that he can go exact some justice out on some actual fucking bad guys. Like you got the, you got the mm-hmm. two uh, creepy couple, uh, mur- rapist murderers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The couples, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You, you you get the corrupt cop, right? And mm-hmm, then you mm-hmm. also get um, the the rapist priest. And yeah. These are all. These were all problems within their community, which he all, he, which he very summarily went ahead and took out. You know, uh, but I mean, it's just like it's, it's a lot more complex than that because the way the the story weaves itself together makes it so. But it's very fun. It's very well acted. This is like this is the movie that made me think. Oh yeah, Tom Holland is an actor. And he's mm-hmm, a good mm-hmm. one too. You know. Right. And, right. And it's fucking. It's like. It's it's not a, a movie that you would typically see Tom Holland being in, considering who you see him as Spider Man and who you see him as within this film. But it's mm-hmm. definitely like I'm not, like whenever it's just like now I I don't think Tom Holland as Spider Man. I think of him as with all these other roles that he had like within Cherry or within like fucking um, Chaos um, Walking. Uh, Chaos Walking. Unfortunately, yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm, but, mm-hmm. It just goes to show. That hey, if I ever meet Tom Wall, if I ever meet Tom Wall, I'm gonna ask him to sign my Blu-ray copy of of, of Devils of Chaos Walking. All right. Oh That's. I'll, 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 be not... I'll be asking. I'll ask. Hey, are you the guy from Chaos Walking? Oh my god! <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> That'd be so awful. <laughs> right, I, boy. I really hope we there is someone in this on this planet who only knows Tom Holland. From from Chaos Walking, not from any other media. That would be pretty fucking great. Oh my god, <laughs> can you imagine though? I really don't think that like he's Spider. Wait, he was like, wait, wait. Tom Holland was involved with a monster calls. No, he wasn't. Holland also performed on the onset stand-in for the character of the monster in a monster calls. You're joking. <laughs> this is on his actual Wikipedia. You... Fucking kidding. What is this? Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> what is this? This is so fucking weird. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh my god. I'm surprised at all of this now. <laughs> well, it's all connected. It's all connected. It's all connected indeed. It's all Tom Holland. It's all Tom Holland all the time. <laughs> Oh my god. But yeah, uh, okay, well, I guess that's my number four. What's yours? Oh, okay. Oh, 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 fuck. Oh, 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 I was gonna give my input about the Devils all the time. I didn't like it. How dare you? I, I wasn't a fan of the Devils all the time. Well, but why is that? It tried to sell itself as a series of vignettes, right? 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 Like, of everyone's story. Right, mm-hmm. and yeah. and then it all it all just happens to cram together. I was like, no, oh, this. I was like, I right. They try to make it like it's all one big story. I would think I would have liked it better if it was like like a bunch of loose stories tied together, right? Instead of like being like this one vignette story, mm-hmm. right? I think that was my problem. I was watching this movie. I was like, it's like, it's like, it's like, oh, like, oh, look, all this bad stuff happens around this really widely specific area. Right with Tom Holland's mm. character, right? How it's all fucking. It's, it's like he is the he is the reason why the devil is on the earth, right? Uh huh. Uh-huh. I was really when I was right. I was like I was expecting that movie. Was, like it was more gonna be like a series of right, a series of like of, of like their own an- anthology, right? Where 
Right? I can see what you mean. I can see what you mean by that. And I, I felt like it like, was like, I felt like it was very forced that all the stuff is like all that happens to be kind of like how convenient is that after Tom Holland killed a rapist um killed a rapist priest he meets a a couple who where they're where they're serial killer rapists and then he fights off and then he has to fight the the corrupted cop who works for a mob something something yeah he 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 he's 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 definitely a corrupt cop of some form i just don't work yeah it was really weird how they were trying to connect all these vignette stories i would have liked it was like a way looser vignette connection right i mean i uh, i guess like so i understand what you mean in the sense that you're saying that you wish they were looser stories that had one theme tying it all around together right yeah so just like all of a sudden it's all tom holland that apparently was doing it yeah, right like the thing is well, I get what you I get what you're saying, and I do agree that would definitely make an interesting story, uh, movie in and of itself that way. I do think that like the way they did it was good. It just wasn't good enough because the thing is they never they never outright say it. You know, the thing where it's just like, oh, this is like a work. Like because that's that's the way I interpreted it, especially with like considering the the religious symbol symb- uh, uh, imagery within within the film. And you, know, you also get um. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You also get the title basically mentioning the devil, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's just like, like if we had a like, I feel like if we had a much stronger story in in saying that these are just like the workings of God and how he, this is how he helps set about justice. And, right. And yeah, yeah, because yeah. they try to make world. religion as a big as a big theme in this movie, right? Because I remember like the opening shot was like was like I don't think it was him. It was like his father or his uncle or something right serving in a war and he went up came across like these people that were crucifi- uh, yeah, crucified yeah he was right? like a japanese soldier that was crucified i think yeah right like left to yeah right I, like, like, like 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 right like you were thinking based on how they open up you would think the religious aspect right would, would make play like a bigger theme like have all this stuff in connect is connected right yeah but it but it wasn't mm-hmm like, so like, I, that like, was the one thing I was when I was expecting. Like I was expecting throughout this movie when I was watching for like an actual for the actual devil to appear in this movie, right? Like that was my one thing. I was like, I was like, all right, who's the devil? Like, right? I was, yeah. Like I was expecting for like the devil to actually appear throughout this movie as like as like the driving force of like about how he's ruining how he ruins this like this this life, right? Yeah. Like, 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 not make him the main antagonistic force, right? But make him, like, the main, um, character... Well, not main character, but, like, the... The, main the guy. Force. Yeah, yeah, right? Behind, behind this, like... Like, just make him, like, suddenly interact with, with, like, the character whose story we follow, right? Like, I don't know, like, 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 he's at the same diner bar, he goes to the church, or some shit like that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, stuff like that, but, like, like make him, like, appear very loosely, like, 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 yeah, this is how it's all connected, Right? Yeah, because yeah, the I, connection of the story was very was like a big stress. Like, here's a bunch of bad things happening all at once at the exact same time within like this small town in I don't know 1950s. It was like 1960s, 70s. Yeah, right, right, like, right, like, like, like here's like all this like all this stuff concentrated within like this this area, right? I was like, right. Yeah, I mean, I can see what you mean by that as well. Because again, again, that's kind of ask. Just it's just kind of the, the the point I'm trying to make. Where the yeah, it really could use a stronger cohesive narrative to put it, some to to really put it together. Like you're asking, like oh, if it was the devil just making all this bad shit, and then I'm saying, oh, you know, if it was God that was just putting his, making these things work so that you know he can take out all this bad shit with this mm-hmm, one guy mm-hmm. because he's being, he's it's like he's built up for that purpose. And now yeah. if we got if we got it in both ways. That would be also mm-hmm. cool because I I do generally think that can be done and it would be really cool. But you know it wasn't and what we I mean I'm, it's not to say it's bad what we got. What we yeah got no I, like I don't think this movie was bad. Uh, but I, I just I just think I just like this movie was like it was trying to do a lot, right? It was trying to say like this big thing, but it was like it was but it was trying to tell us so it was very bad. Like I think everyone in this movie did r- really great, right? Rock Pass is great. Tom Holland was actually really good in this movie. Mm-hmm. And all that stuff. But I was like, I was like, this movie, the movie just was very, it didn't hook me enough, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, I get what you're saying. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, honestly, either of the suggestions we put down would have made it a lot better. But again, it's still on my best for a reason. Because I do think it is one of the best movies that we've seen. But, uh, mm-hmm. so, but that's that. 
Uh, mm-hmm. I think this is your number four now that we're gonna. That's play. right, my number four. A movie with a great story that's cohesive that everyone watching will enjoy and understand for for its cinematic storytelling. Godzilla vs. King Kong! Jesus, oh my god. What a, like a, I feel like I went on a big rant about cinematic storytelling to the worst movie with the worst <laughs> cinematic storytelling on this list. <laughs> <laughs> I, like how we, I like how we try to make ourselves sound so fucking intelligent with cinema, and then I fucking chose the worst movie possible. Look, look, man. Just because nobody else might think it's a cinematic masterpiece doesn't mean you have to think the same as well. That's right. Hey, King Godzilla is a, is a cinematic. It it delivers on its title, all right? You go, you know in there what you're expect. The movie gives you a title. You come in there with an expectation, and you leave with that expect. The movie does not lie to you at any point. Did we see a giant lizard fight a big monkey? Yes. Did they lie to you about a giant lizard fighting a big monkey? No. Did I want it more giant lizard fighting big monkey? Probably yes. But was it a great? fight between a giant lizard and a big monkey yes <laughs> all i'm saying is william hey, i think a movie are based around a giant lizard fighting a big monkey is an instant 10 out of 10 okay okay that's fair i mean look it's a it's a, it's a fight between giant monkey and lizard okay that's right that, that is that is that is how that is how the next civil war will start what side are you on uh, are, you, are you a side of monkey, or or the side of lizard, right? Or, or, yes, or side of lizard. Yeah, no, this one was a complete no. God, it was a complete fucking trash fest to watch, right? It made no fucking sense, right? Right? <laughs> I wasn't ex- like, but I was, I was, I wasn't gonna expect it coming to watching a cinematic storytelling. Like, oh, oh, what's gonna be the driving force? How is this all fucking connected, right? Like, I knew this movie was gonna be pretty fucking bad coming in to watch. I was like, and it was pretty, but hey, but you know what? Hey, I saw a giant lizard fighting a big monkey, you know. I was like, I can't complain about that. I got I got the money I paid to rent it worth. I was like, I felt satisfied after renting that movie. I was like, I was a good rent. Didn't feel scared watching it, right? Yeah, yeah. He's like, you know what? I got what I got, and that's all yeah. I need. Mm-hmm, right, right. Was should it should have should Godzilla and King Kong team up instead to fight the devil? That would have been cool, right? But I uh, but I felt like Godzilla, right? Was 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 Godzilla an agent of God and King Kong an agent of the devil? And that was the reason why they're fighting. Who knows? I don't need I don't need some I don't need religious symbolism in this movie to have my character fight, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, anything else you want to say about Godzilla vs. King Kong? You, you know, big monkey uh, fight big lizard. That's uh, that's all I'm gonna say. That's right. Then we got robot big lizard, right? Oh my god, that's still that's still annoying. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but no, the, yeah, yeah, boy, yeah, I, I can't. I, don't know, I wasn't expecting anything. I was like, I got what I look. The movie delivered on its premise, right? The human storyline was pretty fucking bad and weak, especially towards the end. I was kind of like, like everything in the beginning was kind of believable. With um, I think it was Millie Bobby Brown that was playing the female lead, right? I I don't like her side of the story. What they did with her character, it was just bad. Yeah, like like everything, like early on when her character was fine, but then to the end it got real bad. And that's when I was like, ah, okay, this part is fucking dumb now. Yeah, because they just made her into some crackpot conspiracy conspiracy theorist, and it's just it just offends me because she's a daughter of like two brilliant scientists, and it's just like why, why, mm-hmm, why mm-hmm. any? Of yeah, this is so dumb. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anyway, so. Yeah, I got nothing else to say about big about big giant lizard fighting big monkey. So, in terms of let's see, uh, fifth, what I have for my number five on the list, and we have finally reached the end, is Soul, Pixar's mm-hmm. Soul. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My number five. It was an unexpected uh, existentialist film from Pixar for once, right? <laughs> Mm-hmm. Fucking, the, you got some interesting, like, you do get some, you know, the same visuals you might expect from a, from a Pixar Disney film, but you do get, like, you do, you, there are changes to, like, the usual art style, especially, like, considering, like, I really like the, um, I, I don't know what else you, you call them, they're caretakers, they're, like, literally just a line, they're, like, a two, they're, like, a 2D flat space within a 3D space, fucking mm-hmm. wild mm-hmm. shit. Um, and, it is, and it's a talk about like the purpose of life and like of like 
what are you striving for is like maybe it's already right in front of you that type of thing and like you know maybe what you have is what you already have rather than what you're aiming for because even once you do attain it if it didn't change your life then maybe you already had it to begin with that kind of thing right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because it's about this guy who basically for his whole life wanted to make it big make it mm-hmm, big mm-hmm. In, in the way of jazz i think it was right and then but it's just like he like you know he had those dreams when he was younger because he used to make his father happy when he was pl- when he was playing and stuff like that right but then of course life gets in the way and then he's a teacher now and then he's teaching other people about how to play instruments and stuff and then he just feels like he's just stuck in a dead end job trying to like make it out there and it's a and then you know of course the our character actually very much dies <laughs> and yeah. then it's just like a whole like oh this is how life works also See, just because you know this happens doesn't mean you, you know you are without purpose. That kind of—it's it's a whole lot of stuff. It's a, like it was—it was a surprise. It was very well. It's a very good story. Just to go got off the bat, very good animation-wise. But it was a surprising story that I didn't expect to see from Pixar at all. And that's why it's on—that's—that's that's why it's like it's on the list too. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Because, right. You know. Just, yeah. Despite it just being very good and stuff, but yeah. Uh, anything you want to say on it? On that? Ah. Uh... I think the movie was fine. I didn't like the existential thoughts behind that movie. I thought it was really fucking weird. I think, like, my only problem watching that movie was the soul part, right? Right? It was, like, like, like these souls are reborn, right? But the soul's personalities are determined beforehand the person is born, right? Mm-hmm. Like, like if you remember correctly, like, like how, like, there was a point in, like, early on in the movie when, um, when fuck, I don't remember the main so when he was talking to Tina Fey so Jay was it Jamie Foxx? Wasn't it Jamie Foxx the main guy in this movie? Maybe I have to look uh, it up actually. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah Jamie Foxx. When Jamie Foxx died, right? Right, and then he goes on the soul tours and then they explain to him, yeah, that before you soul before the souls are reborn and or re or whatever the fuck on earth, right? They have their personality picked up, already picked out. I thought like, oh, so Right, and, and then it got me thinking like, so, so is my personality predetermined? Right, that nothing I I've done up until my point was, cre- was done mm. by me, and that I'm actually like some byproduct, like some existential force that were that was reborn into me. Right, like that was like one of my biggest weirdest things came me out of this movie. Like the movie's good, the soundtrack was actually pretty amazing. I loved the the music within that movie. Right. Right, like the right. music was was pretty fucking because I think John Baptiste um was part of the was part of the soundtrack for this and, and I love him if you watch if you watch um late night with Stephen Colbert he's the band member for for um for Stephen Colbert right uh-huh. but yeah but like like outs like 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 that's like that was like my only negative thing about this movie was like how much of the concept of souls actually work right and like, like the whole existential philosophy behind it like. Like 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 are like am I born wanting to pl- wanting to learn how to play the piano or did my soul beforehand I was like I'm gonna be piano playing soul and and then right right as an example uh-huh, uh-huh. yeah yeah but no there was some creative stuff like but there was like a lot of creative stuff within the movie like I remember like like there was a point when they were going upstairs right a character was accepting an award and he used his body to be the stairs and he made himself walk up uh, the stair yeah, no, like, yeah there was a lot of creative freedom that they were doing with the movie which i really enjoy yeah mm-hmm. i mean yeah i can see what you mean by that it's just like it's just the way that they thought it was to to kind of well, i mean it's also there to kind of serve the um also, this is a kind of serve as a solution to the conflict that they present earlier within the film with the one with the one soul that has never been born for like ever, right? Mm-hmm. But I mean, otherwise, like I get what you mean, and it's just like I mean, not every interpretation is going to be correct in what we're, on what we're what we're viewing and everything, but you know, at least it's 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 of course not trying to say anything, but it's something to debate about certainly. But I mean, aside, okay, so aside from that, I mean, otherwise, I. I did like the movie a lot. I like it because of its ex- of the existential thought behind of it. Mm-hmm, because mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. it's 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 like you don't see that typically for a kids film, and I do like that they actually. Yeah. Hey. 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 Next time. Hey. Next time, ask your nieces and nephew what are their thought about the afterlife and and reincarnation is. All right. 
<laughs> ask them about the cost of nature versus nurture, all right? And what their thoughts on it. Ask them to write a full page paper on it and send no, it to no, me and I'll no, review I'll, it. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do you one better. I'm going to have them read uh, Thus Spoke uh, th Zarathustra from uh, Nietzsche. And then, and, uh, all right? And, then we'll and have them write a report about it? Yeah, then tell them, what do you think the Superman is? <laughs> anyway. Uh, -huh. uh so what's your fifth then? All right, my fifth. All right, so going off about this whole <laughs> this whole Jesus analog philosophical discussion, yeah, God, of. the devil, I right? Mm -hmm. I chose the best movie to, that combines all these elements together, right? The only movie released in the year 2020 2021 that could encompass this huge philosophical debate about the humankind, right? Right? Uh-huh. It's Zack Snyder's Justice League. <laughs> I fucking figured. Right. Uh -huh. Right. Hey, hey, look. I still, I still think it, it may definitely made Justice League way better. Right. I'm really gonna be fighting with to see the original intent of Zack Snyder's vision, but, but right, that's the reason why we have Hollywood. Like, as much as I hate Hollywood executives and the whole Hollywood fiasco, right, and how and the whole Hollywood. Uh, system, right? At some point, you gotta tell someone to stop, right? Right, uh -huh. and have actually someone be in ch right, be in charge uh -huh. of like uh -huh. probably limit someone's fucking creative freedom, right? Well, it was good, but the fact that you needed four hours to tell the story, right, and you want to present it as a film, probably not a good idea, right? Like if this was like a mini series, where the fuck like how? Like how they originally wanted the plan to release this before they decide to nah just release it as a four hour movie and call it a day, right? Right? Mm. Like like as a, if this was a mini series, this would have been perfectly fine with me. But as a movie, I was like, Yeah, this is probably why we you should get someone to tell you no at points, right? Yeah, yeah, because it could be it could be a lot. It could be just so much that it's just impossible to tell if it, and, you know. Yeah, but I like how it, like like it doesn't make this like at least it makes the story more coherent and better, right? Yeah. Uh, it makes these characters way better and more likable. Yeah, right, like, like, like the whole cyborg thing, just like seeing uh, all the added just made his character so much better. Like, mm -hmm, so right. Much yeah, better. like they made the characters way better. Hit the flash, and the flash is way cooler now, right? The flash is yeah. well, like we that like the flash is way as a quick instead of just a like, guy that that likes that likes K pop and Rick and Morty and he it plays on the like, back. Doesn't like the word brunch for some reason. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. Like it like yes, it really does make right, to the point where we no longer have to acknowledge the the was it what was it, what was what was, what was the original was that twenty sixteen? I don't wanna say it was like twenty eighteen, twenty nineteen. Boy, when was Justice League? 2017, like, like, I like where well, we no longer have to acknowledge the oh, 2017. 2017. Yep, according to this, you, you according to this, uh, it is 2017, right? Yeah, huh. but yeah, but I like how we don't have to acknowledge the 2017 uh, uh, Justice League anymore, right? Yeah, although that does put into question what the other iterations are, or how the, the DC's universe is going to look in the, in the future, but, you know. Yeah, yeah look, and multiverse now, right? It's all multiverse now. That's the it's hip new multiverse. thing. The hip, the hip new thing that everybody loves now, multiverse. All right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Kids love multiverse. They love it when you talk about them. The, 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 the theoretical equation of, of multiple parallel dimensions, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Talk to your nieces and nephew about what are their thoughts on on string theory. All right. Oh my God. Yeah, what yeah, are their I'll, thoughts I'll on chaos right. theory? Right. Okay. I mean, I'll just I'll just show them I'll just show them Jurassic Park and tell them what they think about Chaos Theory then. <laughs> yeah, right. But yeah, no, yeah, I yeah, like the reason I really like this movie is, is definitely way better. It makes it makes the movie way probably still too long, right? Right. Yeah, it's still like you can see where they could cut some parts out where they would it would probably be best to. Like I still mm -hmm. remember where they had the scene where they had the the village woman sniffing like Aquaman's coat, and it's just mm -hmm. like they didn't need to be in here. It just right. kind of mm -hmm. wastes my time, especially with yeah. all the singing that you guys are apparently about to do, and then, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just could have cut that all out, but hey. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, yeah. it's still, it's still, a be it's still better co uh, uh, narrative cohesively and everything, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I will agree with you that it is a good movie, so. Yeah. There's that. Mm-hmm. I think that's it, though. Is that it? Uh, uh, hold on, don't you have a fifth movie, did...
That wasn't my fifth move. Didn't I already say soul? Oh wait, oh wait, oh. First, and then you go. Then oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. Oh okay, 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 yes, oh yeah. So, so I guess, I guess that means we're done now. With our, with our, with our best of 2020. I forgot. I forgot. I, I, I thought there was still one more movie. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. 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 So yeah. So there you go. Those, those were our, those were our, those, those were our movies. You know. Mm -hmm. Right. This is our best of for 2021. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. So now we have done the obligatory movie, uh, movie channel thing of. Of talking about best and worst movies, right? So now people will know, right? Here's the thing: our opinion is correct, all right. Our opinion is the best one, all right. Everyone else's opinion, right? <laughs> like, I, as a person who wants to promote free thoughts, free thoughts, right? Our opinion is correct. Everyone else is wrong, all right. Nice. <laughs> That's right. Okay. The only That's correct special. answer is our correct answer. Oh no. That, this That's... is starting to get into some territory here. Maybe we should stop where we're ahead. Uh oh. Hey, we should. Hey, let's ask Jesus for the answer, right? All right. No, we're let's, done here. Let's, uh, let's, you know, this is how we always end it. With our thanks to with our thanks to Jesus allegory. Okay. Well, the, just you don't need any more allegories in here, my guy. Just just end it. End it now. End it. Oh, okay, end it. Is. All right. All right. All right. All right. Come on, Marcus. Don't think watch as wear a mask. Uh, get your shots. Kate, thanks. Bye.